Mr. President, five minutes, sir. Evening, ma'am. Merry Christmas, Mike. Mustang, Mrs. Big Top, bringing out the full package. Where'd that come from? Everybody knows you did the right thing on that bridge. Even the president knows. You gotta learn how to get back into the real world. Mr. President, we're ready for you. Our guests have arrived. I'd like to welcome you to the White House, sir. Sir, there's no inclusion. Let's go, move. The idea of a myth, which is America, the idea of America um, uh, fallen. Symbolically, what the White House represents is everything that America stands for. This is something that could happen. So we want the audience to ask, what if this really happened? And uh, me personally, I'd like them to believe that uh, this is what would happen. The story is strong. Every time we think we've got the bad guys uh, figured out, they throw us a new wrinkle. You, you can't tell North Korean from South Koreans. And I met with my buddies who work for the government. Some were, one was Secret Service, a couple other CIA and other things. And I said, could this happen? They said, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. I was pretty amazed that the plot was significantly above average for one of these, you know, exciting, big blockbuster type films. And it was real clear why it had attracted the level of talent. And it kept me on the edge of my seat. It just really got me. Not, they used some special computer gadget and shut the White House down and took it over. They physically took it over. That was a big conversation. I kept saying, it's an event. So, how was your fourth? My fourth what? Fourth of July. Don't be an ass. Some people do take holidays, you know. Yeah, I was quiet. No, I stayed in. We. Oui. Okay, I stayed in. She went out. Now I'm shocked. Miss Jacobs. Good Hello, morning. Director. All right, buddy. Hey, Roma. Good to see you, buddy. How's the family? Kids are good, thank you. Yeah? Yeah. O'Neill. Hey, Benny. Look at Shark. So we missed you for poker uh, last week. Where were you? Missed taking your money. Yeah, I know. I've been working the late shift. Yeah, Non-stop action over there at the Treasury. Wow, I mean, this is an incredible cast. Um, we have a couple of Academy Award winners. We have uh, tremendous actors in this movie from every role. It picks up momentum, you know? People go, oh, look who's on now, oh, look who's on now, look who's on now. And suddenly we have this incredible cast. Hey, Mr. Speaker, <clears throat> as both the President and the Vice President of the United States are unable to discharge the duties of their offices, I'm officially placing you under Secret Service protection. You are the acting president of the United States. Are they alive? They are. We've had the, uh, the extraordinary uh, uh, experience of the way movies used to be made, which is on the set with a director who says, all right, let's make something good out of this scene. I immediately thought of Antoine, one, because he's my boy, and, and, and two, because I thought of all the directors, he would absolutely kill it. You know, I love his movies, um, you know, all the way from Training Day, which is one of the best movies ever made. He's very talented, and he's very serious, and he takes the work um, to a great depth. You know, he can really inject something with uh, a lot of emotion and a lot of intensity. After the accident, right, we lost right, the first right. well, what's You want to add in the White something? House right I suggest now. you get back straight. How do we know straight. we can trust this guy? Banning is ex-special forces, Ranger Battalion. He will move mountains or die trying. I know him. Does anyone else in this room have any intelligence coming out of the White House? And we have no choice. Yes. 
The president's in the bunker. He's being held hostage. What do they want? We're trying to find out. Well, who's in charge? Trumbull. Are there any survivors with you? Negative, sir. They wiped us out. They have commandos roaming the hallways with enough explosives to take out an army. Looks like the doors and windows are rigged with C4 explosives. Who knows what other tricks they have up their sleeves. Any team coming in is going to be ringing a front doorbell pretty loud. They shut the power down, the lights off, and I assume they closed the air vents. I killed the surveillance, but I don't know how long that's going to last. Where's Connor? We have no status of his location, but he's presumed to still be inside. A lot of fun. You know, a lot of suspense. Um, great acting, great action, some scale, big scale action that's gonna, I think, surprise them at times. Well, I think there's something very titillating about being forced to face your phobias, and people wanna have an adrenaline rush when they go see a movie. And of course, you know, you want a satisfying ending, but it's really fun to like have your hair standing on end. We'll have you on the edge of your seat. This has it all. It's also very emotional as well. You're just, you're just on this kind of, this, this great ride. I think this thing has actually heart. It's a fun, fun movie. This is my worst nightmare, and it's great wish fulfillment. And I think Olympus Has Fallen has done that really, really well. You're gonna be able to see a kick-ass movie with great actors and, you know, and a lot of fun. It just grabs your imagination and your wonder, your heart, your breath. You know, I think movies should live out on the edge. You know, that's where movies live. All these characters are larger than life. The events are larger than life. That's the point of making big screen movies. A truthful kick in the pants. Mr. Speaker, you are the acting president. I want to speak for the Russians, the Chinese, the British, and the French, in that order. If you attempt to retake this building, I will execute your commander-in-chief. Oh, my God. We have contact from inside the White House. Identify yourself. 309er. Jesus, Banning? The same guy that was removed from the president's detail? He is ex-special forces. 40 commandos breached the gate, 28 are left. Can we trust him? With all due respect, I'm the best hope you've got. We're talking about the safety of the President of the United States. We're talking about a hell of a lot more than that, sir. Just open the gates of hell. The United States of America doesn't negotiate with terrorists. Who said anything about negotiating?